So here I am in my kitchen where the light is better and I'm getting ready to show you the uh, jewelry and the one box of linens which I have cut open but I haven't looked at yet. Okay, so uh, a couple of hours have passed because the preschool was playing all this really loud music and I would have had copyright issues if I'd tried to film while that was going on. So uh, they're still over there screaming and yelling but not... Um, playing music. So let's get started. This is the jewelry that I got. Um, now I've forgotten what I paid for this, but I will let you know. Oh dear, that's not what I had in mind. Trying to get my blasted autofocus to work. Of course it's not going to. It was working fine two seconds ago before I had the recorder on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. So, uh, first up is this uh, lovely tri stones. This is all going to be sterling silver jewelry. Uh, I don't know what some of these stones are. In fact, I mean, that's probably onyx, but I don't know what that is. Um, spiny oyster, maybe. Maybe that's a kind of turquoise. But that's really beautiful. It has this really cool mark on the back. Um, I know that there's a fake Native American mark that involves those three clouds, but there's also a real one, and I don't know which this is. But I hope that this will be a genuine Native American piece. And this is a 950 agate pendant. It's kind of neat because it has these this hand-forged or hand stamped little hook at the end on black cord. Um, this is Mexican silver. It's a it's kind of a newer newer mark. And oops, come on, let go. Um, we have this. This is uh, possibly could that be moonstone? I'm not sure. Moonstone and onyx, I guess. This one is marked Baroni Designs, 925. Baroni Designs, 925. That's pretty. These are adorable little turtle earrings. These are um, probably Zuni little turtles. Aren't those sweet little stud earrings? And here are some more sterling silver and turquoise earrings. These ones are Mexico. Uh, the mark right there. It has some initials. Looks like maybe HOB 95. Um, okay, let's see. We have some more. Sterling silver. Earring, a little shadow box style. And these are just marked 95. Just uh, the basic dome earrings. And not marked at all, but that's one of those really nice sterling silver backs often see on Mexican sterling earrings. The other one doesn't have a back, unfortunately. Ah, siren! Ah. Okay, and we have some more little sterling silver. 
I know I said I wasn't going to say everything is sterling silver because it gets monotonous. But, uh, this one has a little tiny mark right at the very pointy end. It looks like it's hand etched and it says 95. Oops. Get that off of there. This is um, like a liquid silver with, a nine, with a turquoise nuggets. And there's a little liquid silver bracelet with some onyx nuggets. I'll probably put those in a lot together. They seem to go together. And these are Native American themed, at least. That's the famous, um, an image of the famous sculpture end of the trail. And they seem to have some kind of a mark on them, but I can't really read what it says. Let's see, maybe the second one. Maybe the second one can be read. Mm. Not so much. Interesting. Uh, these appear to be some turquoise bead wire dangle earrings. Um, let's see, I think the wires are marked or not. The wires do appear to be sterling silver but they're not marked. <laughs> and this is a little uh, pendant with a mother of pearl. Very modernist. You put the chain or the, the bail. I guess you just put the chain right through there. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, it's marked as a tiny little Nine two five, right on the top there. This is a very nice abalone shell heart, sterling silver. Um, this is a Mexico. Uh, the, the mark is really worn, but it's right there, it's right there. I believe it says Mexico nine two five. That's nice. And this is fun. It's a little souvenir of Cancun. Stamped. Hand stamped sterling silver bangle. It's quite heavy. Um, I think, yeah, there is a, there's a mark right there. Right there. And it says Sterling 925, and then there's another mark in another place that says Mexico. Okay. And this is a um, inlaid uh, matrix turquoise brooch. It's Mexican silver. This is a nice older one. It's got the eagle mark three for Tosco. It is signed uh, AM. D, I think. Hopefully I will be able to figure out who that is. This needs a little polishing, I would say. But uh, it's a nice one. The, the mosaic part is in good condition. There's no chips in it or anything. And then, this is awesome. Watch tips with onyx and these leaves, I believe, are real gold. Like, applied gold leaves on this. The watch is not running. Maybe I'll try to put a battery in it. It's got a stretch thing on the back, but that's really pretty. The tips are really nice. Okay. These are some fun Modernist earrings with a lucite dangle. Um, the back is marked 925. 
I don't know that the earring is marked. Um, I believe this lot, everything is supposed to be sterling. I think I said that about ten times, but um, I think that in the description she said if uh, that everything was either marked or tested or both. So it's a pendant with, I would say, a synthetic opal, but I don't, it's hard to know for sure sometimes. I'll have to get my loop out and see what the little flakes look like. Supposedly, you know, if the flakes are irregular size and shape, it's more indicating it could be a real opal. Um, but, I don't know. But it is very pretty color, very iridescent. This was the only ring in the lot, but I love it. It's just a foil back glass, but it's so pretty. And um, this is going to be Mexican. Uh, I believe it's marked 95 Mex somewhere on it. 95. Well, it's going to be hard to see, but there is a mark inside that band. Really tarnished. But um, I thought that was cute. Um, these are pretty stone. I haven't tested the stone. I bet you that'll be some kind of gemstone. Nice studs. Um, these have a, a pictogram sign on it. Looks like a dotted road, kind of. Like a road with a dot down the middle. Um, that's going to be Native American, probably. Probably. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to figure out what that is. These are gorgeous earrings. Um, uh, spiny oyster, maybe? Marcosite? It could be coral. Very red. I don't know. They're marked 925. And there's a little B with a circle around it. A lowercase B. Probably can't see that, but it's in there. But ah, oh, those are pretty. There are two of them. Where's the other one? I really like those. It's a sweet little Roadrunner dangle earring. There's there's two of them. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah. Okay. So there's ah oh, under the floor. Anyway, those are very cute. Um. I think it's marked nine two five on the bottom side. Maybe? No? Maybe? No. Okay, I didn't see a mark on those. Oh, and this is really nice. It's a little multi gemstone. Um, something attached to it. It's a piece of junk. Piece of paper. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that again. Isn't that pretty? I like the little pinwheel design. This one's marked 925. Oops, right there. And yeah, that's cool. Oh, and these are super cute. These are little dangles. Those are real pearls. One of them has glue on it. I'm going to have to try and get that off. But other than that, aren't those cute? Uh, these are marked. Ugh, there's a lot of oxidation on the back of this one. But um, that's just got a little 95 mark on it. That's it. And lastly, a tiny pair of turquoise stud earrings. Those are. Uh, Native American style. They're obviously so tiny that they're probably not marked in any way. But, very cute. Those are nice if you have second holes, which I do not. 
I have such small earlobes, there's not room for another, um, another hole. Okay, shall we look at textiles? Hold on one second and I'll get... Okay, so here's the first box of textiles. Just opened it. I don't know how she ever fits all this stuff into the box because I could never get it back in. Once I open it, it's like sprung to twice its size. But anyway, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show... Oh, there's Buffin! I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show you these, but I will work on it. Okay, if you don't mind seeing my messy refrigerator in the background. Um, I think this might be the best way to do it. I can show it to you from far away, and then maybe I can get close. God knows what my autofocus will do. Please have patience. Um, but this first is a, just a, a piece of fabric. Um, it seems to be finished on the edges, so it, it might be meant as a, like a little light wrap or a scarf of some kind. Um, this, uh, pretty sure this is Mexico. Oh wait, I'm showing you the wrong side. Um, I think this is Mexican embroidery. That's a, it's a pretty color. It's kind of an unusual color. And then, um, these I feel like might be from Guatemala. But um, I think that these are placemats. Seem to be about the right size with the fringe on the end. Probably hand woven. In fact, I'm sure they're hand woven. Pretty purple edge. And there's, I think there's like seven. It's an odd number. And this is too cute. This is a little embroidered laundry bag. Isn't that sweet? It's got a little, a little butterfly on it. Make sure this is going. Okay. <laughs> Check to make sure my video is running. Um, okay. Wow. Look at this. Big, big lace tablecloth. Ah, oh, this is a nice one. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I don't offhand see any stains or tears on it or holes. It's good. And let's see what this is. I've just given all this stuff a very quick look over. I haven't unfolded any of it. Um, oh, oh, this is uh, something that you hang like this in that house. I don't know. Is that a pocket? Are those pockets? No, they look like pockets, but they're not. Oh, it's got a little stain on it, but maybe I can fix it. Let's see. Well, I don't know. I thought that was going to be something you hung up with little pockets, but I don't know what it is. It's got, um, it's got, uh, embroidered initial. It looks like, oh, I'm sorry, it goes this way. C, C, K, S. Now, if that was... KSC, that would be my initials before I got married the first time. But it is, looks like K is the last name, so. Not my initials exactly. <laughs> well, I'll have to figure out what this is. Because I don't know. It looks old though. Okay, this is Batik dyed fabric something. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see. I don't even have it all the way open yet. It's huge. Uh, I think this is probably part of a sari, the kind that goes 
that's a tube. I don't know. I, I was trying to educate myself about these Asian traditional garments and uh, feeling very confused by all of it. But I know there's a kind that's made. Maybe it's not a sari. Maybe it's a uh, yeah, the other one. But wow, that's gorgeous. It looks like it's from India, but I don't know. Maybe from Indonesia. I get the, the styles all mixed up in my head sometimes. But that's very nice. Let's see, what could this be? This is Shishi. Is that what it's called? Shishi? I can't remember. The kind of... Um, decoration that's done with the little mirrors. It's from India. And it's just some, some trim. It's a very, very long piece of trim. That's nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh boy, there's going to be some jewelry at the bottom. I didn't know there was jewelry. Yay! <laughs> ah, this is a um, this is a weeple from Guatemala. Look at those colors. Let's see if it goes this way. Look at the colors. Oh my goodness, that green. That is incredible. Wow. Let's see if you can see the embroidery. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. Oh, that's nice. And this, I don't know what it is, a uh, pillow cover, I think, yeah, pillow cover, I guess, and it's lined, oh, this might be one of Amelia's originals, it might have been the start of a, of a purse that didn't, didn't get a strap on it ever, or it could be a pillow cover, I don't know. I don't know. Can you see it though? Wow. That is some interesting embroidery. I have no idea where this is from. Oh. Let's see. Okay. And we have two pieces of jewelry. This is so exciting. We have. Look, this is very similar to the. Um, the pin pendant that I just bought. It's that um, turquoise uh, mosaica, I think is the style. Call it over there. And uh, this is, says Mexico. Uh, hmm. It just says Mexico. It doesn't have a silver designation on it, which is, can be a very bad sign that it might be alpaca. But I will test it. It looks like silver to me. Maybe it's just very old. You know, even the old stuff is usually marked. I don't know. But it's nice. It's on a chain. Let's see. Let's see if the chain has a mark on it. The chain does not look silver. Okay. And then we have one more piece. Ooh. It's a nice silver pendant. Hmm. And this is marked sterling. It's right there. I guess that's just a, looks like a piece of fruit of some kind. Birds pulling over it. <laughs> it. Looks like a turnip. <laughs> That's very cool. Okay. That will do it. Thank you so much for watching. These items are, or soon will be, for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment if you care to. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And share. 
I hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs> Muffin says bye too.